Now we're going to go ahead and add HDFS. Um, first, let's split this up. So we can see we have Marathon and Jupiter Lab running in our services. Let's go to the catalog again. This time we'll find HDFS. Install that. Again, use just the defaults. Now it's deploying. Go to services, you can see it's deploying. Now Jupyter Lab won't be able to see it because we didn't configure it to know anything about HDFS. So let's go in here and edit. Here's Jupyter Lab. And we'll go into the environment and go down and we see here where we can configure URLs, but essentially this is telling Jupyter Lab where HDFS is located. But it's it's the same uh, for default. If you have the default HDFS set up, it's exactly the same. Um, if you've set up a separate one, then you'd need to adjust the URL. And I'll run this. Now HDFS is running. Now Jupyter Lab is redeploying. So if we go over here and refresh it, it should be dead. And it is. Okay, it looks like it's done deploying. Now when we refresh this, now we can see that Jupyter's up and running again. We go Jupyter. And here we are. This time, however, we can see um, HDFS. So to test that, We'll go ahead and actually go down here. Actually, make this bigger. And then move it over there. There. So now they're side by side. Okay, so if you go to the terminal. There. So there's nothing there. If we grab. Uh, or see, you can see the files over here. So there's oh, listing. Let's go HDFS, DFS, put core site.xml. Now, if we list, there it is. So we've successfully put something on HDFS.